We're going to make it easier for American consumers to switch to electric vehicles as well. By offering rebates and incentives to swap older fuel-efficient vehicles for new clean made-in-America vehicles. Joe Biden's presidency will mean a lot for electric vehicles and the energy sector. Details about Biden's environmental plans suggest a massive push for electric cars and trucks. So in this video, we will look at five major things that will affect electric vehicles in Joe Biden's presidency. So stay tuned and let's begin. Hello and welcome to EV Source. My name is Harry and I'm your host for today's dose of EVs and technology. Before we begin, if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing so you don't miss our future videos. If and when Joe Biden officially steps into the Oval Office as the 46th President of the United States, we could be looking at big changes that will not only work to help our environment, but also promote electric vehicles and many forms of green energy. If it wasn't already clear, Biden has shown his support for electric cars and wants to tighten up emissions requirements to promote electric car sales. But in addition to that, he plans to extend and increase incentives for EV buyers and plans to build a bigger, better charging infrastructure across the United States. States. But of course, it's not all just about electric vehicles. Once he officially becomes the next president, there are a set of challenges facing him surrounding the pandemic. So these things may take priority over everything else, but we can and we should expect him to keep his promises regarding EVs. He supports manufacturing and knows it's the backbone of America. And this is especially true of the automotive industry. Part of the plans for expansion will include a gradual transition to new forms of energy, as well as electric vehicles. A Biden spokesperson said, quote, Joe Biden knows that the auto industry is the heart of American manufacturing and essential to the future of our economy. During the Great Recession, he helped rescue the auto industry and saved more than 1 million auto jobs. As president, he'll create 1 million new jobs in the American auto industry, domestic auto supply chains, and auto infrastructure. Number one is a proposed $2 trillion climate agenda, and we will go over some of the details as we move ahead in this video. All of the five points basically fall under this agenda. Number two is bringing back the $7,500 tax credits. We're gonna make it easier for American consumers to switch to electric vehicles as well. Not only by building 500,000 charging stations, but by offering rebates and incentives to swap older fuel efficient vehicles for new clean made in America vehicles. According to Biden's campaign promises, he plans to invest $400 billion in clean energy, which includes batteries and electric vehicles. One of the most significant changes he's planning to make is to restore the $7,500 electric vehicle tax credits for all of the manufacturers in the US. Currently, Tesla and GM do not qualify for the tax credits since they've reached the 200,000 units limit. Back in the Bush administration, they set the tax credits for all manufacturers with a limit of 200,000 credits. This was back in 2009 and they couldn't foresee how things would play out in the future. And now, since Tesla has sold well beyond 200,000 cars, in fact the number is above 1 million now, they no longer qualify for the tax credit. Tesla was the first one to hit this threshold and sometime later GM also hit the same threshold. Bringing back the tax credits would be great news for anyone thinking to buy a Tesla or any other EV, but there is a small catch to it. This tax credit will only apply to those with an annual income below $250,000, which is fair if you ask me. Most people looking to switch to an electric car are stretching every penny to get one. So for them, the tax credits are a huge help. Let's be honest, anyone earning over $250,000 probably doesn't need the tax credits to buy an EV. Biden would also like to see fossil fuel subsidies cut. Of course, all such legislations requires Congress, not just the president. But it does appear that Biden is making climate action one of his top two areas of focus. Biden's plans to make this happen will be focused on higher fuel economy standards and promoting EV adoption. Which brings us to number three. He says he'll invest in 500,000 electric vehicle charging points by 2030. And number four, provide cash vouchers to people who trade in a gas car to switch to electric. Though the details of this trade in cash voucher are unclear, it could turn out to be a positive change to push people to switch to electric vehicles. Biden says that on his first day in office, he will develop, quote, rigorous new fuel economy standards aimed at ensuring 100% new sales for light, 
and medium duty vehicles will be zero emission. He hasn't said exactly when he wants new cars to be all electric, but House Democrats have already established a timetable according to their climate change plan, which calls for mandating 100% clean vehicles by 2035. And finally, number five, Biden's plan also includes converting government fleets to electric vehicles and helping to finance automakers transition to cleaner vehicles and providing more support for small US EV startup companies. The United States owns and maintains an enormous fleet of vehicles. And we're gonna convert these government fleets to electric vehicles. Here's a short summary on Joe Biden's proposals with regards to tax expenditures by the Tax Policy Center. Biden's plan would reduce tax expenditures for investments in fossil fuel production and commercial real estate. It would also provide additional tax credits for investments in electric vehicles, renewable energy, and energy-efficient technologies, as well as tax benefits for family caregiving, student loans, and childless workers aged 65 and older. His plan would make tax incentives for retirement saving more progressive by replacing the deduction for traditional individual retirement account or IRA and defined contribution pension plan contributions with a refundable tax credit as well as by automatically enrolling most workers without pensions in IRAs. On page seven, you get this line, restore the full electric vehicle tax credit targeted to middle income consumers and prioritize the purchase of American-made vehicles. We assume the proposals makes the electric vehicle tax credit permanent, repeals the per manufacturer cap, and phases out the credit for taxpayers with income above $250,000. In many parts of the world, EV adoption is increasing at a much stronger rate than it is in the States. This is due to government support of the technology. Biden's plan is to get the US on board with this to provide similar support. Unfortunately, many US senators are not very supportive of such efforts, so we'll have to wait and see how long it takes to encourage change and how much Biden is able to get done over time. This sounds great as long as he can get Congress to back him up to get these new bills approved. Though let's not forget to give credit where credit is due. If it weren't for Trump's administration, there wouldn't be Lordstown Motors, which is currently a publicly traded company and has a factory and a working prototype called Endurance, which is an all-electric pickup truck. Whatever the case may be with the outcome of this election, I hope the next administration makes good choices to support electric vehicles to help people transition to a cleaner, safer transportation sooner than later. Just like in some other parts of the world, government support for this technology is an important factor in making the transition from ICE to electric. But what do you think about the proposed changes to support the transition to electric vehicles? Do you think the government should do more and are they addressing the right things to support the new emerging technologies? Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. Once again, we are at the end of the video and if you're still here, you are amazing. If you own a Tesla, get 10% off on your accessories when shopping at Abstract Ocean with the code EVSource. Also, don't forget to check out our merch store for shirts, hoodies and more. And if you would like to show more support for the channel, consider becoming a patron and get access to exclusive content such as Q&As and behind the scenes. But in the end, the best form of support is having you watch and enjoy these videos. And of course, a shout out to our patrons you see on the screen and a special shout out to our power producer Inku Kang. Thanks for watching. My name is Harry and this is EV Source. Keep charging ahead and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe and take care.